Hello! Um, today I'm going to be showing you how to make something from the April Pickle Pack. Um, it's going to be a flip book. I'm going to be using some leftover cards and envelopes to make the base of the book. And then I'm going to be decorating it with some of the papers from the April Pickle Pack. So, first of all, I've got some of the bits and pieces ready. Um, I've got three A6 cards. Um, I've inked all the edges with a Tim Holtz um, Distress Ink. This is my favourite for making things look a bit old, vintage, just taking the uh, crispness off the edges. It's a brushed corduroy. So, after inking all of those up, and I've done this with three, you could use two if you didn't want such a thick book, but I've done this with three, so there we go. Then I took two envelopes, and this will join your two, uh, sorry, your three cards together. Um, I used some double-sided to seal it, because the sticky stuff that comes with envelopes aren't always great. And just cut the edge off this is this box designed so there's not loads of measuring and checking it's really sort of quick and easy to do so envelope stuck it down and we've chopped a little edge off and just make sure that's got a nice fold on it now this is going to go in between the cards yeah. so it's going to go in there there's another little place and they're going to give you a little pouch mm. so I also made two of those and I inked up the edges again for those now in these little pouches I want to put some like journaling cards or project life and I wanted them to stick out a little bit so I actually cut the envelopes down so they would fit in without being lost too far inside so I chopped a little bit more off but you can leave them the size of the envelope or you can cut more off as long as you've got enough to make the hinge in the cards then we're all good so next we need some hinges and all I did for this was I took an envelope and I cut it up into about six pieces and then I folded the pieces in half see like this that, one's not. that was there so I just folded them in half and that's gonna make your hinge dead simple so we're gonna construct this and put it all together and then you can see how I just do the basic covering of it. So we're going to need some double sided tape for our hinges. Which, if you're using three cards and two envelopes, you're going to need four hinges. Um, and we're just going to take some double sided, uh, if you've got one of those. Uh, guns that you roll on there and use it that's brilliant <laughs> I haven't so all we're gonna do I'm gonna do it so you can see and hope my big head isn't in the way is match that up as close as I can to the edge then we're gonna take an envelope and we're gonna match that up to the edge and there you see we have a hinge. Now, I'm just going to chop that bit off there because we don't need it. Remember I said I cut the, that's better, I cut the envelopes down. Well, I need to cut the hinges down. So we're just going to measure these and make them the same height as our envelope. And cut them off. That will work better now. 
So we've got one hinge, one cover, one hinge, one envelope. We need another hinge on here. I know you can get some pieces of square paper and you can join them with um, washi and I, uh, once I've perfected a way to do that where it folds up nicely, I'm not struggling with that one, but uh, I always find that they're a bit bumpy. I'll be doing a tutorial on that. So, again, see, up to the edge, and we need a card. And I, I'll turn it round so hopefully you can see. I do it like that so that we've got nice edge there because we're going to put a, a cover over this afterwards so you will you won't see any of that so one card one envelope two cards next envelope um you could use glue i suppose um i don't tend to use glue for something like this because you need to wait for it to dry um Unless you know of any glues that are pretty quick drying. So make sure you've got your pouch at the top. I did with that one, didn't I? Yeah. Make sure your opening's always at the top end. And so we've got like one card, an envelope, a card, an envelope. Next, like a card, the last card. Um, to cover this, I'm using um, the Prima Rose Quartz range and a little bit of uh, what's this one? A little bit of Cottage Rose collection by Kaisercraft. Um, they're both in the April Pickle Pack. I'll uh, link it in the comments to where you can get that from. So, I've got that on there. And that's our flip book. Not looking like very flippish yet, is it? Okay, so, let's put that on there. Then, I cut my different, uh, I forgot here. I cut my pieces out to cover all these. So if you've used three cards and two envelopes, you're going to need 12 of these big ones. And you're going to need eight of these small ones. Um, it roughly took me two, two pieces of 12 by 12 to do that. So if you're careful with your cutting, it's, uh, it should go okay. Now the front one, I'm going to use this nice wood effect. I think that's nice for the front after we uh, embellish it later. So I'm going to stick all these on as quickly as I can. Um, and then here. It's hard to choose with some of these which way round the paper's going to go because they've both got really pretty sides. Um, and you know, when these flip books are mostly used for like the snail mail type things, so you can fill them with lots of cute goodies. And I've got some paper clips and gems, uh, all sorts of things to go on here. Okay, so now you can see how it's folding over. What colours have we got? I'm going to use the black this time. Okay, so yeah, this is intended to be a pretty quick um, make. Nothing too long. And you could always use up your... Um, your scraps. I have a huge box of scrap paper and um, you could always use up that to do this with. Um, I love this feathery one. It was uh, 
my favourite. That's one of the reasons for picking picking these papers to go into the April pack because I just uh, really like these feathery patterns. I'm going to use this one this time. Should have another feathery one. I'm not sure I have a spotty one. Um, I'm just going to cover it and put the spine on, and then we'll do another video for the decoration and the tags and things that we're going to put in it. I haven't made too many of these flip books. Um, I. It's a new thing for me, which is why it took such a long time watching different tutorials and seeing about uh, different ways, experimenting with different ways of making them. But uh, yeah, I kind of, I kind of like this way best. Um, I just picked up the method really quickly and it was it was things that I had to hand as well so you know that was really which one did I put on the front wood <laughs> that was really good to have the uh, to have the stuff to hand uh, we nearly covered all the big pieces and all I'm doing is using double sided just two lines down the sides um, really, I was going to put this one on the back. It's um, really, really simple to do, and we're on the back page already. Then we've got to go through and do all the small pieces. Um, which isn't that hard to do. So just checking my video hasn't stopped because that's also a habit of happening to me. So as you can see, we're already steaming the head. So now we're going to cover these ones and uh, make sure they lay flat. Now, I think when I do these, I need to chop a little off them. Yeah, I do. Because hmm. I've just cut the envelopes now. Okay, so... Uh, I'm just going to cut these with my scissors. Like I say, I never intended this to be a um, really accurate measuring kind of project. I just want it to be quick so that I can get lots of embellishments on there and really, you know, that's, that's gone a bit wrong there. But, you know, this is what happens and we have to... <laughs> evolve that on there you know we're gonna add decoration embellishments and cards so it's 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 all good um i mainly wanted to show you how to put it all together and put a spine on it so it does look like a little a little project. What do we have there? Pink again. Oh, I've wood effect there. No, I think we're gonna have. We'll have a spotty one. Yeah, we'll have a spotty one. <laughs> um, it's just such a nice. Whoops, nearly in the wrong place then. I think it's a really nice project to uh, make. And stick that on there. I've done a couple of them now and uh, yeah they've they've really uh, been well received <laughs> when I've shown people them. So I'm sure yours will be too. Okay, the last four pieces now. And go with one of them. So yeah, I mean a, a couple of pieces and 
you're going to use a fair few where uh, project life or you can make your own project life you know just cut a few cards and stick them <laughs> into spotting it. yeah just uh, make your own cards to go in here if you're running out And then we just got to make a spine after this. Um, that's that one. There's no fancy cutters or equipment involved. I've just used scissors, some ink. You could use any ink. As you can see, I just put it on there and my hands are covered in it. There we go. See, it's already coming together. And we can see this. And we're going to put some journaling cards into these pockets, which I shall stand up so hopefully you can see, like this. So it's going to be full of all sorts of goodies and project life there. Now, I'm going to cover this up and I'm going to make a spine. Just going to decide. Not that one. Maybe the lace on the wood. Body. Decisions, decisions. I think I'll go for the black. That'll be nice, wouldn't it? So, just going to cut. Obviously, when I was um, cutting all these squares, I used a trimmer. But uh, for this, I'm just gonna I'm gonna ink the edge as well on it. I can't find it. I'm just gonna do it with the actual ink um, because I can't find my spongy thing. So that'll do for now. And we're gonna cover this with loads of double-sided. Cover the whole thing. Because it's really going to need to stick and make a spine to cover the book. Um, so I'm not going to put it about, about that far in. I mean, it, like I say, it's not meant to be super accurate. You now it's. Uh, folded over there that's okay because we're going to embellish it we're not going to um, it doesn't matter if it's a bit wonky where's my oh, it's really gone. whoops and there it goes okay so we're going to really burnish this down on both sides and we're going to put you know we're going to cover this so and we're going to do it on this side here and before you know it, we have a spine and we have a flip book. And all we need to do is decorate it. That'll be in the next video. Thanks for watching. <laughs>